Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with the long-awaited final instalment of my roof garden makeover. So today I am going to be adding all the finishing touches, sorting out all of the plants and hanging up some lights. There's a big plane flying over. There's like a massive one. <laughs> Look. It's just been raining out here, so hopefully the weather's going to dry up enough for me to get everything done, so I want to do a bit of painting as well. Um, so I'm just going to crack on, and hopefully by the end of this video, I'll have the finished roof terrace to show you. Fingers crossed. Before we get going, if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe. I'm posting new videos every single week, and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Okay, let's get cracking before the other plane comes over. <laughs> yeah, we're shooting this as... All the flights take off on a Saturday. It's quarter past three in the afternoon. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is just finish off any bits of planting that I need to do. And I've got this to try out. This is a compressed cocoa. So it's supposed to make 10 litres of compost um, by adding water to it. And it's 95% cocoa peat, 5% sand and cocoa fibre. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to do that. I bought this in um, Poundland and I just thought it would be handy to get home rather than carrying a big bag, so hopefully that'll be alright. Just fill up the pots that I've got remaining to do. It's like a brick. And now we're going to add approximately three litres of water. So that's done all of that. So I'm going to use this now to pot up the um, hebes or heaps that I've got here. So that's all done. Oh, the sun's come out. So I've got a few of these things as well. I bought a few more of these. These were also from Poundland. Um, so I just filled up some of these with water. And I'm going to put these in all of the containers that I think need a little bit of extra water for when we forget. Look at this sky. You couldn't make it up. Okay, so you may have seen these pieces of timber that I got from the timber yard. These are just the pieces that go in between um, big planks of wood when they're delivered. So these were all lying around on the floor in there and I asked the guys if I could take them and they said, yeah, absolutely no problem. Um, so I got these for free. These are actually quite good for lots of projects. I might go and get some more. They're just um, thin slats of wood. But what I want to use them for is to make some supports to string the lights around, all the way around. Because I think if we get some lights all the way around the edge, um, it will frame the roof garden really nicely. So I'm going to get on with screwing all of these onto the post now. And then I might paint them. If it doesn't rain, it's kind of raining already. We'll just crack on. So I've just screwed these on down the back. So I've gone all the way around and we've got one at the end there. So the plan is to string the lights between them like that. Hooray! But before I string the lights on I'm going to give them a coat of the grey paint to match the fence and this is the Rust-Oleum Chalky Finish Garden Furniture Paint in the colour Flint. And I'm just going to use some of this exterior masking tape that I got in Poundland. I think this was £2, just to um, mask off the bits of fence that I don't want to get any paint on, just to make the job a little bit easier. While the paint's drying, I'll just show you what I've done with this. So this is what I made with the leftover pieces of decking board. Um, so I did this a few years ago, and all I did in the last uh, video was paint it. And now I've added those casters that I got at the car boot sale for a few pounds. I think they were two or three pounds. And now I can easily wheel it out, which I'm really pleased with how well it glides. So now inside here, I can keep all of uh, my pots and things I don't want to have on display that maybe are a little bit more seasonal and uh, hide them out of the way. Ok, 
Okay, I've just added all the hooks and now I'm going to add some of this twine. This is just garden twine and I'm going to do this first before I put the lights up because I've got a feeling that the squirrels will be walking across them and I don't want them to rip the cord of the light. So this will just make it a little bit stronger and join all the posts together nice and solid. I actually think that looks really, really good. It kind of looks like those metal ones that you see people having sometimes. So if you want to do a budget alternative, to those metal wire kind of fences. You could just string a few sections of this across. I think it'd look really cool. And now I'm just going to string the lights all the way along. These are the glass outdoor lights that I got from Lidl for 9.99 and I've got two packets of these. Okay, so that's the first section up and I've got another box here and we're going to put these ones down the far end. Do you remember this from Tiger? Well, I thought it would be a nice little touch to have this out here as a bar. Now this isn't weatherproof, so it's something that I'll just bring out when um, we're going to have drinks out here. But it can just easily slot on and then I can hang it up indoors as well. And over here I've added this sundial that I had um, from a shoot that I worked on, it was a prop. I just need to figure out the right place once the sun comes out again. So I've just pushed this bush into the corner here, which I think looks quite nice. And I've um, put some greenery down here to cover up the uh, pipe a little bit. And yeah, this is looking quite good here, working quite nicely. So while I'm sat in the bar area, as we're gonna call it now, I will show you some bits that I'm gonna put around the place. Um, so the first thing, you've probably seen this before, but this is this wooden lantern. I think this was reduced to yeah, five pounds from Primark. So I'm gonna pop that on the side over there. It goes quite nicely with the uh, gray, doesn't it? And then I've got these to hang around all of the uh, fence. So I'm just gonna dot these about the place. Oh, I could have done with those earlier. <laughs> and these screws, <laughs> that I forgot I had. Um, so I've got this candle holder that I'm gonna put over there. And I've got the bee house that I'm going to put on the wall. And then we've got the cactus light, which is uh, solar power. Just switch that on. Should be getting dark soon, so I'll be able to show you all the lights when they come on. All of this stuff I've shown in previous hauls. So if you go back and have a look at some of my Poundland hauls or Pound World hauls, you'll be able to see those. And I've got these waterproof tea lights, so I'm going to use these inside of the lantern. Do you remember these that I got from Ikea? If you saw the Ikea shopping vlog, um, you'll remember these. I've got three of them in the end, and I'm gonna hang these up. I'm just adding in these mirrors that I got from the shop called Hema. I think it's a really nice touch to add a mirror to your garden. I really like the way it can reflect the light and the plants. It looks like a little window in the fence. And this cushion was three pounds from Primark, which is perfect for the chair in the corner. And I'm just going to add this rug that I picked up in Ikea to the floor just to add a pop of color. Okay, I think I am finished. I am really pleased with how it's looking. I've got the lights up. I've got all of the new pieces of outdoor decor out and all the paint has dried. So I think I'm just gonna leave you with some shots of the different areas. And what I will do is do a full uh, roof terrace tour where I take you around and show you everything and tell you where I got everything from as a separate video. And in about an hour's time, it will be getting dark. So I'll show you how it's looking with all the lights on as well so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this final installment of the roof terrace makeover if you're new here don't forget to hit subscribe i'm posting new videos every single week and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it let me know in the comments down below what your favorite part of the roof garden is and i will see you very soon thank you for watching bye
calm. It's gonna be sunset soon. But we're going to carry on and we're just gonna have to ignore the aeroplanes. It's quite loud again. Come on, to show you. That motorbike's quite noisy, isn't it? Let's just cut for a minute. <laughs>